Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty. I'm here to do another general energy reading. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you guys are returning, welcome back. It's always a pleasure to, get, to have you guys here with me, okay? Um, I did not realize, for those of you guys that was present for the last live that I did um, a couple days ago, I didn't realize the quality, the quality, uh, the quality sucked at the end, but I didn't realize that the sound had went out until it was too late. So, um, I will definitely do a part two to that video because a lot of you guys reached out to me, you commented and you, you know, you want a part two. So I would definitely be doing a part two to that video, you guys. So just stay on the lookout for that. All right. So I'll just go back into that energy and I'll just, um, I'll go back and listen to the video and just see where I left off and I'll just, um, I'll just do a part two. I'll just rechannel like to see what else the Holy Spirit want to tell me or what was cut out for that of that video. And maybe like, why was that cut out of the video? Because, you know, I don't believe in coincidences and whatever I was saying must have been some type of truth or importance because of how the, the, the sound left. <laughs> right. So. All right, so I'm just going to start, you guys, with just some general energy, and let's see what comes out, all right? Also, you guys, if you have not reserved your bottle of Never Broke Again Money oil, make sure that you guys are doing that. Um, those bottles, those oils leave so quick. So make sure you guys go on my website, um, themysticshoponline.com, and that you reserve your, um, your oil, all right? If you've already purchased your oil, make sure that you leave me a review. I always read my reviews and everything, and I'm always excited to see how it is working for you guys. So let's um, let's go ahead and get into this energy and let's see what messages your ancestors, the Holy Spirit, the person that you guys are connected with on a spiritual level has to say for you guys. All right. And say to you guys. I swear, I just saw, even though this card say hurting me, hurting you hurt me more, I just saw ignoring you is hurting me. So someone is ignoring you guys. This person is ignoring you guys on purpose. Cause I, I, even though this card say one thing, I saw something different. I saw ignoring you is hurting me. Your energy is extremely powerful. So your energy is like consuming this person. Like, and I don't even think that this is something that you guys are doing on purpose. It's just, you know, it's just very intoxicating. Like the connection, the bond, it's just very sacred, divine energy that you guys share. You guys share a very powerful um, spiritual connection with this person. And for whatever reason, y'all, this person has been ignoring you, but it's hurting them. It is hurting this person to ignore you. Um, this person is also very much embarrassed. They're embarrassed. They're too embarrassed, in fact, to speak with you. So maybe this is why this person is ignoring you guys. It's because they are embarrassed over something that they did, um, something that they said to you guys. I'm hearing like my behavior, how I handled the situation, how I how ghosted you. This person could have ghosted you guys or it was something that this person did, something that this person said. I, I'm hearing it's my actions. So this person is embarrassed by their actions. All right. Uh, I, I don't know why I feel like this is someone who pride themselves on how other people view them and like doing things in a like I don't know this is giving me emperor energy 
or hierophant energy, maybe like a hierophant's energy. Like this people, other people look up to your person. This person has a lot of people that look up to them. So they, they kind of like pride themselves on handling things in a certain way. But for whatever reason, they handled you all wrong. Like they handled the situation all wrong. And this is not something that, that they this person may like normally do this. Walking, you guys leaving this person behind, um, focusing on yourself, um, choosing to accept the condition that the connection is in, not really taking it personal. Maybe you did grieve. You know, I'm sure you were very heartbroken if this if this person started to ignore you or the communication, um, you know, was cut off between you and this person or, you know, things were good and then things were not good. All of a sudden, you guys, you guys making a decision to put yourself first and to walk away from this person, you guys, force them to grow up spiritually. Like it's forcing this person. It's like, forcing them along on their spiritual journey like their awakening breaking curses so yeah you guys are whether you know it or not your your silence you standing your ground with this person you teaching this person how to treat you you guys holding this person accountable it's helping them to break some type of curse okay so tell me more holy spirit Someone may be confused about their sexuality as well. There's like some confusion surrounding someone's sexuality, um, whether it's you or, the, or you or your person and nobody. OK, so y'all have a lot of people who is praying against this connection. There are outside like external influences that don't that don't want to see you and this person connecting. They don't want to see you guys together. You or this person could have talked about each other to other people and whether you have like um, a karmic friend who just kind of like wishes bad on your union between you and this person. Like they want nothing more than for you and this person not to come into union. And this person has like a karmic friend that is always uh, praying against or telling them not to communicate with you, like giving them the total opposite advice that they would even take themselves. This person is fighting with themselves. They are fighting with themselves because I saw ignoring you is hurting me. So it's like this person is going back and forth with themselves. They're, they are currently at war with themselves on whether or not they should continue to stay away from you, whether or not they should continue to be silent with you guys. Um, should they continue with this facade I'm hearing? Cause this is definitely a facade. I also want to welcome in the Holy Spirit into this reading to shield me, cover me and protect me in my home. As I channel this message for the collective, I want to, um, I want to place a fiery wall of protection around me and my home and my babies, um, at this time. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right. What is this? Sometimes I don't feel good enough for you. No, I mean, and I can see this because depending on what this person did to you, you know, this could be why they're embarrassed. This is why they're keeping their distance from you, even though ignoring you is killing them. You know, even though even though the things that they did to you guys is, is affecting them more than it's affecting you. This person is like they didn't want to fall in love with you guys. But it's too late. Like this person is already deeply in love with you guys. This person could have acted like a Mitch. So if this is a, a masculine energy, it's like you just kind of bring out the bitch in this person. Like no, no lie. Like this person kind of, I don't know. They feel weak around you guys. And they, I feel like this person handled, handled you in a way that, you know, I don't know. Something about how a man is supposed to handle a woman like they handled you in a very toxic manner and that that goes against them especially with me feeling like they are a higher fence energy that goes against everything that this person is about 
So I don't know what, what possessed this person to um, behave this way. There's a karmic male around your person between the ages of 35 and 60 years old. This is this person that is talk, telling this person, like giving them poor advice on what to do with this connection here. This is a jealous friend around this person that intentionally gives them bad advice um, pertaining to you in this connection silently planning next move and see this is why your person has to be silent about their feelings for you like they they're not talking to this friend anymore like they they're kind of put their energy pull their energy back they're not they're not as expressive to this friend anymore because it's like they're kind of realizing that whoever this karmic male is in their life they don't have their best interest at heart They don't want to see this. They don't want to see this person with you. Like they don't want to see y'all together. This person feel like you make them feel like a kid again. Like they miss y'all childlike connection. Like you really help this person to tap into like their youthful energy, which is very healing for this person. Like I feel like this is somebody who's very serious all the time. Um, a lot of people look up to them. So it's like they always have a lot on their plate. Or they always have to move and behave in a certain type of way because it's like that's what their friends and their family and their colleagues or whoever expect from them, you know. But it's like your energy is just so lighthearted. It's just so lighthearted and playful and you're very charismatic. It's like, I don't know, even though you have an old soul, you're very youthful in spirit as well. And this is really, this really helps this person to heal. Like they feel like they can be themselves. This person, if they have children in a, from another situation, they feel like their children are going to love you. Like they're going to take to you very quickly, which will make sense because you have a childlike energy. So it's like kids trust you. Like, you're the type of person that like if you're in a store or something, babies smile at you, they wave at you, they wave at you like because you have this this. It's like you're an angel. So kids know that they can trust you. S somebody could have tried to use some type of spell work. Look, see, yep. Voodoo and spell work involved, but it won't work. Backfire, reaping. Wow. Tormented and tormented. Someone is being tormented because they try to use voodoo to keep this person away from you. What? But see, you and this person have a divine mission, a higher purpose together. So God, inter God interceded. God sent angels to block this or God blocked this. So whoever is connecting. See, look at this. My karmic may try to do something stupid. So if they have, they have a, another karmic energy around them. Could be this male energy or if it's a woman, this woman is definitely an older woman, but she's very masculine. Paid for voodoo or tried to do it themselves. God blocked it to keep this person away from you guys or to like interfere in this connection between you and this person here. Wow. So whatever this, whatever this spell work was, it was to make your person look at you through different eyes. It, it was to make this person look at you in a different way. I'm really sitting here losing sleep over you. But now this person is like losing sleep because you, you know, you guys are really in a separation now, you know. Like you guys are not giving in and this person is realizing that they were under some type of trance or some type of an illusion. I spoke to a fake spiritualist about you. She gave me false information. So, yeah, you know, honestly, this fake spiritualist could just be this karmic friend, somebody who think that they know more than what they really know. And somebody is they gave this person false information about you. Somebody gave your person poor advice. All right. That someone wish they had your destiny. And this is this is the person that is external to you. Whoever paid for this spell work or sent negative energy to um cause some type of separation between you and this person, they want your destiny. 
And to be honest with you, this person is your destiny and you are theirs. And this is a past life spiritual connection here. This person is hoping that you guys can start over. Like you will be willing to like give them another chance because they feel like they don't have nothing left but memories. And they're tired of looking at old pictures reminiscing. You know, this person is realizing that they don't need nothing. Nobody else, nobody else in life besides you, like everything that this person needs else besides God, because we all need God. We need God first and foremost before anything, before the air we breathe, we need God. OK, but this person feel like you are like a manifestation of God in human form for them. You're like literally that's that divine feminine, divine masculine energy. You are home. You are their healer. You are their protection in human form. And this person know that they treated you like, you know, this person was very soulless. Whatever they did to you was very soulless. Like you felt like this person don't have a soul or this person is evil, but this person was under spell work. I'm hearing. Yeah. One of my guardians, one of my spirit guides, my angels just, just touched me. You guys were on, this person was under spell work, but this person is, is they're, they're, they're going to prove themselves to you. All they think about is what can they do? When should they make this move? How can they prove themselves to you? Wow. Well, that is, that is crazy. Um, mm. let me pull a few more messages. So this person, you know, I don't know. This person had a lot of dark ties and stuff, or I don't know. It's just something about this person made you feel like they were soulless or something they did to you. You kind of felt like, oh, that was just soulless of you. You know, nobody with the, with the soul would treat somebody this way. Nobody would, if you had a heart, I heard if I only had a brain, right? This person was in a very dark place in their life when you met them. And then they were under this, whatever this, this, this spell, this voodoo energy. Yeah, this person, they, they were very soulless or, you know, this is how they came off to you. And spirit is telling me who the Holy Spirit is telling me, whoever this karmic energy is that paid for this voodoo or tried to do this is with this person could be a water sign or a fire sign. You could be a water sign or a fire sign. This could be a water sign, fire sign connection here. This person is soulless. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be involved. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could be involved. You, your partner, or the karmic, okay? But or they could just have this heavy in their placements. But somebody was just very soulless. Tell me more. Or it was spirit is real, uh, saying that they are soulless for what they did. Like, <laughs> uh, But this person is about to go through a storm. So whoever did this, whoever sent this energy to you and also your person here, your person. So like, even though they were under some type of dark manipulation, they still have to pay for what they did because if they were of higher vibration, they wouldn't have been easily influenced by this karmic, like the spell work wouldn't have worked on them. So it's just, I just, I don't know. I see somebody going through a storm, whether the storm working through the challenges, somebody's in a storm in their life right now because of what they did to you and or this connection that caused some type of heartbreak. You know, your person, they are in an emotional storm right now. You know, they are in an emotional storm right now. This person is very, very guarded because, you know, you, you guys cut off communication or maybe they cut communication off with you when they were under this spell work. For some of you guys, your person is going to actually physically find some type of proof and evidence in their home. I'm hearing like in their home in like a guest bedroom under the bed type energy. Somebody's trying to like they they held on to the spell work after it was done or something. Somebody's going to find evidence under a bed somewhere. Somebody tried to hide it under a bed that they actually did voodoo. Yeah. And this is going to put this person like in a storm. Yeah, whoever this per your person is going to realize somebody around them was wearing a mask. Yeah, I, listen, I don't blame you guys. Continue to set boundaries, you know, because this person, they are going through a storm right now. And it's going to take they're going to they're going to have to go through a lot of healing. But 
I do see you guys getting something long, long term with this person. Like, I feel like they want something long term from you guys now. You know, it's like, see, illusion came out in reverse. They are no longer in some type of an illusion. So the spell has been broken. Yeah. Through a cleanse, negative energy, um, cleanse, negative energy and a fresh start. So I don't know if y'all did a cleansing on this person or, you know, they did a cleansing on themselves or, you know, you prayed and asked God to cleanse this person. But a spell has been broken off of this person. It's, it was an illusion spell and it made this person see you in uh, through the eyes like they shouldn't they shouldn't have saw you in. It's like the spell caused this person to not see you as a divine feminine. And to not respect you, but you are their divine feminine. This person is going to be broke. They, they're about to be um, broken free from this. I, they've been trapped. This person has been spiritually trapped for a while. But a, a gate that was once closed to this person is now about to be open. And I feel like whatever this, op this gate is, it's leading to you. It's, it's leading to this opportunity opportunity of a lifetime i'm hearing yeah somebody tried to keep this person in some type of mental conflict and keep them like trapped keep them stuck so that they would not come towards you guys they wouldn't be able to get out of their head yeah this person was very soulless for doing this like if somebody don't want you sis let it go you know bro let it go Cause you're only racking up the karmic, the karmic, um, air miles. Okay. <laughs> you are racking up the karmic air miles. Wow. <sighs> See, whatever, whatever this manipulation was, whatever the spell work was, it had your person going back and forth on, with whether or not they should stay or whether or not they should go. It had them confused, whereas this person was once sure that they wanted to be with you. It had them confused. Like, I don't know if I really even want to be with you. It was just a lot of confusion. You know, um, it started to weigh on your person's mental space. They, they started to feel like they were suffering, like with mental issues. But see, this is going to be this this karmic's karma. You know, they're going to start losing their mind whatever they did to this person or whatever whatever they tried to do to you guys it's gonna it's gonna reverse it's gonna go back on them and they're gonna start feeling mentally fog um hallucinating um just a lot of mental illnesses right somebody may even try to take an overdose because of all the karma that come back on them at one time like there's a karmic feminine here that's contemplating um, de deleting themselves because of all the all of the karma that's coming back on them at one time for uh, doing doing voodoo on on a divine being. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I feel like this is a divine connection, and I feel like you, your person is a divine being, but they were definitely acting and moving like a karmic because they were under some type of manipulation or illusion. All right. But there's going to be some type of change here. Growth is here. So this is some type of change, whether this is in your finances or in your your relationship. Like something is about to literally transform. Right. Something is about to grow. Yeah, you have a soul contract with this person. So if you guys are single now, you won't be single. You won't be single if this person is married to a karmic. Or if you're married to a karmic, you're going to be divorcing so that you can be with this B with your divine counterpart. They're going to be divorcing this karmic. Um, no more infidelities, flings and affair. And like, because this could have been like a third party situation like that, where they were married to their karmic partner and then they met their divine partner. Or you could have been married to this person could be your husband and they're your divine partner. And they were having a third party. They were in a... um fling or something with the karmic energy here and, and if that's the case like this karmic pay for spell work or they did try to do it themselves and it's going to backfire on them so bad that they're going to contemplate deleting themselves all right yeah and this person like if this was your husband like you you were actually married to your divine partner in this lifetime like 
they're going to seek help. They're going to get counseling. You and this person going to go through therapy and counseling together. And they are going to be making a return. You guys are going to have a fresh start, a fresh start with each other. Okay. There is going to be a new beginning. So let me get a final message from this person before I wrap this reading up. If this resonated with you guys, make sure that you thumbs up the video, subscribe, share the video, you know, leave me a sunflower in the comment section. You guys, you know, I love sunflowers. Let's, let's shed a little sunshine and light and, and positive energy in the comment section, right? Will you forgive me for hurting you, my love? Just know me betraying you had nothing to do with you. Wow. And absolutely. And, and it's, it's crazy because right here it says my childhood trauma makes it hard for me to show up for you and respect you. It, this has nothing to do with you. And look at this divine partner. I just said this is your divine partner. Your person is a divine being, but they wasn't behaving like this. They were acting like a karmi because this person was under an illusion spell. So they don't, it's like this person don't want you to take what they did to you personally because it wasn't you. It's childhood trauma and literally an unfinished karmic business from a past life that is wrapping up in this lifetime. All right. And that's just for real. You're, you're the beautiful melody and muse to my song. So this person is very inspired by you. They find um, inspiration and in music about like y'all love. So this person would listen to music and daydream and fantasize about you guys. They send you spiritual messages through like through music. So pay attention to like random songs when you're at the drive through. Pay attention to the music when you're shopping in the stores. Like pay attention to the words. All right. Because something about you going to Target or you shopping or in a drive through. Pay attention to the music sometimes, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comment section down below what you know. Peace.